These days, it's how we keep up with our friends and family, from vacation posts to kids' birthdays to virtually checking in at public places like a concert. But those seemingly harmless posts could give crooks the clues they need to target you. Our own Better Call Bankin joins us now with what you need to do to clean up these digital clues. I don't think people have any idea how easy we make it for people who have sinister motives. That's right. I learned a lot here, Jen. Because sharing on social media is not only a norm, like you mentioned, it's expected from your family and friends. Everybody's online. And your friends, though, they're not the only ones watching. And social oversharing is exposing you and your family to hidden dangers. So yeah, we enjoy having photo shoots and stuff. Uh, Meet Chloe Hand, self-proclaimed social media influencer. I look at it as something fun and enjoyable for me, not so much as like something bad. New followers on Instagram and her YouTube channel makes her smile as she posts about fashion and beauty. She checks in to places like this coffee shop, alerting friends of her whereabouts. Her digital trail? Necessary risk. Do you worry that it would be easy for someone to target you? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it is kind of scary. Across the room, Russ Johnson takes a different approach. When you start reading and hearing about things that are happening, people tracking people down. So I've got a 16-year-old daughter, and so we've just really been dialing in on not posting, like, locations. That's smart. Your post could leave you exposed to cyber-stalking and burglary. Remember when Kim Kardashian was bound, gagged, and robbed by armed gunmen? It was just days after she posted this photo of her massive diamond ring. Uh, when you post something, it pretty much lives forever. This isn't just a celeb mistake. Yeah. So here's the picture of her necklace. Exactly. So that's just an advertisement for a crook. It took just seconds for social media guru Jonathan Sellers to find this on Facebook. I'm looking for some diamonds now, so I searched for my new diamond, and here's someone who said, here's my new diamond necklace. I love it. I do too. So now I can go to their page, and I can learn all about them. They're local. And it's not just your post. Your cell phone may embed GPS location data in your pictures. So turn off location services in your settings. Don't ever share your address. Post vacation pics only after you're back and review and clean up your friends list. If you want to be able to share the things that are important to you, but it's really about making sure that your network is people that you know and trust. I, mean, I do say like where I go to school. Back at the coffee shop, Chloe, the social <laughs> media influencer <laughs> kept at it, even documenting her visit with me. But she vowed to be careful. It's kind of hard to think about like how you could avoid that when you have so many people that are watching you. You can still share your life on social media. You just need to be smart about it. For example, I found that a new trend is for folks to check in at businesses and to check in at their house. And in order to do that, you have to give your home a name like Mikasa. And when you do that, you get a map. So anybody who sees that sees exactly where you are down to your GPS. All the details. It's scary. Yeah, I, I liked the part about turning off your location services on your photos because a lot of times that's like a direct like roadmap to where you are. What are some other things that people can do to kind of lock things down? Well, you don't want people to see where those photos are, but you also don't want to have photos with your valuables in the background. A lot of people don't realize that. They take pictures of birthday parties or whatever's going on at their home and there's their new whatever in the background. Right. Then thieves know what you have. Then you add that GPS. Yes, they know exactly where to go to get it. Wow. So be careful. We've got to be really careful. All right. Thank you, Shannon.